currently in Australia Post we have what's called the Learn to Licence programme for uh, postal delivery officers, your post says, and we understand that it's difficult for some Indigenous people to actually hold uh, a driving licence, so we actually bring them on board. Uh, they learn by riding bicycles and we take them through the motorcycle training at the end of which they actually get their driving licence and they become full-fledged posses. As far as uh, cultural sensitivity goes in relation to Indigenous employees within Australia Post, uh, we promote very, uh, very much the NIDOC week. Uh, we're aware of the importance of uh, carers' leave in some of the Indigenous families. We also recognise that particular illness in relation to shift workers. Uh, we have a team of people like occupational therapists and things who recognise the importance of having the people in the right role within the organisation. Uh, we have Indigenous liaison officers who communicate with these people. Uh, so we, we try to promote it as much as we possibly can and honour it as much as we can, but there's always more you can be doing. Things like this are fantastic. It might actually give me the, the kick to actually become a mentor. So when I go back, I'll push further up the chain to make sure that management do what they've told me they want to do. Yeah, I think as far as like uh, the young Indigenous people in Australia are concerned, I think what we maybe all have to do is we need to not be so hung up in how they've always been let down in the past. You know, I think they have to have some confidence in the structure that we've got now and in what we're saying that we, that we want to do. And we have to show to them that we're true to this through, through our own actions. We'll have to show them that it's not just the same old stuff over and over again. Get themselves in school, get their qualification and have trust in people like myself, I mean, who might actually be able to forge some kind of communication with them and just be a support person for them as they go through the workforce. It will be difficult, there will be obstacles, but I think we can definitely overcome them and make a difference in the future. For generations and generations, we believe that this great nation